so welcome back to another video this week i'm out e toy hunting once again uh thank you so much for the support on the room tour it's been getting a great response uh you should really check it out if you haven't already um i think it's an awesome room tour i really do a deep dive into uh, my entire uh, collection which is not just uh, toys but it's video games and some comics and I really do a big dive into it and be sure to check it out if you haven't already otherwise please be sure to comment and like the, the videos subscribe to the channel if you have not already so uh, what are we on the hunt for I don't really know at this point <laughs> it's um yeah, I'm always on the hunt for uh, Star Wars Black Series. Uh, I know those are hitting a lot of... It seems like several different waves are hitting. It, because I know how the waves are broken down. And it seems like figures from various waves are hitting. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I've seen it in other people's videos. So we'll see. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. It's just a lot of random stuff has been coming out. It seems like a lot of older stock has been hitting the shelves inexplicably. I, But it's good to see the shelves stocked. So without any further ado, let's head on in and see what we can find. All right, so this is the first store. This is a Walmart, it looks like. And not too much here. Uh, there's some of the peg warmers of the year. Those uh, Rock and Cena Hollywood figures. It's amazing how those two figures are peg warming. And the Roddy Piper is nowhere to be found. I've yet to ever see him. Yeah, some Masters of the Universe stuff. Nothing uh, too crazy over here. Some of the new wave It's just nice to walk into a store and have shelves that are pretty full. At least comparatively speaking to what they were just a few months ago. Hopefully that means the supply chain uh, issues have been resolved. I suspect they have to a degree because a lot of older stuff is uh, popping up. Stuff that should have been out on the shelves a while ago and it's just randomly stuff is popping up and i think it's probably because it was just sitting on a ship for months at a time and finally it's gotten off the ships so i think that's the explanation but that's just my theory i am completely you know going off of no information <laughs> aside from just piecing some stuff together These Fantastic Four figures are everywhere now. Some Marvel Legends, that Cap and Thor. This Build-A-Figure wave is uh, becoming very prominent in the stores. You'll see a lot of those figures uh, coming up. Transformers, nothing terribly exciting here. But there's a lot of them, so that's good at least. Let's see, here's the NECA section. NECA section, at least of this Walmart, not so good, except this uh, Pennywise figure. And the Many Faces of Pennywise, I believe it was called. And it literally has a ton of faces. Which is kind of neat. If I already didn't have a Pennywise figure, I might have grabbed it. And here's something I've never seen before. Yeah, I just thought this was cool because it's the new Xbox and I've not seen it in a store before. So maybe that's a hint that uh, the chip shortage is coming to an end. Who knows? Here is a Target. A bunch of AEW figures. Nothing that I needed, though. The Rock. 
Rock Ultimates, a lot of those. Porky Flea. Colonel Mustafa there. Some of my vintage collection figures, you almost never see that Ahsoka. So that's kind of cool to see. Bunch of Masters of the Universe. You guys probably see that I'm holding something in my hand. It was uh, it was a movie. I was picking up uh, Chang Chi in 4K. Now this is kind of interesting. It's a crossover Transformer and Dracula. I almost thought about picking it up, but when I was looking at it more closely, I just wasn't crazy about it. I didn't think it looked that good. So here's the NECA section. Not too much going on in this particular NECA section. Some, gold, some Golden Girls, that's what's going on. This I thought was really cool. I didn't get it. I mean, it's like over $100, but it's a pretty neat uh, Lego set with that Nintendo. Let's see, this is another Walmart. Again, a lot of those Fantastic Four figures. And I apologize for a lot of the cutaways here, and you'll see a lot of transitions, at least more so than normal. It's because I'm just trying to avoid people. Like, the crowds this week were intense. <laughs> and I was doing my best to avoid them and not get people in camera. So when you see a lot of sudden cutaways, that's just me trying to avoid people. I really like that black suit Superman there. Poor Lando. And Lando is definitely the peg warmer. And I say peg warmer, there's two of them. There's Michelangelo sitting all by himself. And let's see what's over here. Some Masters of the Universe. Not much on wrestling, mostly basics here. Again, those Hollywood lines, which are starting to really annoy me. I mean, look at how many there are. The NECA section. See anything interesting here? And they had a Goliath. Oh, and this place added to Pennywise also. And this is another Target. Well stocked with Masters of the Universe. A bunch of Darth Mauls from Clone Wars. Some wrestling, nothing, nothing great. One of the figures which is inexplicably popping up right now is this uh, Red Sun Superman, which I th and I've seen him in several places. I think he, it's one of those figures that I was probably sitting in a shipping container for a while. Because I actually got him a long time ago from uh, Entertainment Earth. Probably almost a year ago. It's a cool Cyclonus. Yeah. All Eternals all the time. 
I've actually not even seen the Eternals movie yet, which is amazing. At this point, I'm just going to wait for Disney+. Plus. I'm just not that excited to see it. NECA section. A little Stranger Things uh, t-shirt in there. Nothing too exciting here. And here's, again, that Nintendo set. And these Lego sets are kind of cool. That Tree of Life from Disney. And I really dug this uh, Sesame Street. Uh, I really wish that Nintendo one wasn't so expensive. Because that would be pretty cool to put together. Here's a NECA section. And this one had uh, these new Alien vs. Predator uh, figures. Um, I didn't see any Predator figures from that line, but a lot of cool looking aliens. I'd imagine the Predators are going to come out. Uh, Clark W. Griswold, from Christmas Vacation. Some cool different Predator figures. Uh, Ralphie. So this is a nicely stocked uh, neck section. This Predator figure is pretty cool right here. All right, guys. So it is now Saturday morning, and I'm at a Target. Now, to uh, use some terminology from my buddy Jersey Geek, this is kind of my honey hole uh, Target. I don't know that term. Is like something about it just bothers me, but at the same time, it intrigues me. I don't know. But anyways, um, so I'm at this Target where I usually do pretty well on Saturday morning. So we'll see uh, what we can find. Uh, I'm seeing online all over the place uh, the new uh, Black Series is series is uh, dropping. Uh, that one is the one with uh, Bib Fortana. That figure is probably going to look amazing in the Black Series. So I'm really looking forward to finding that one. But um, let's head on in and see what we can find. Um, I'm going to actually sporadically go to stores today. I don't have a lot of time this morning, but I'm going to pop into stores as the day goes on. So uh, we'll see what we come across. All right, let's go. So the word for this video for the 1,000 subscriber contest is going to be holiday. All right, we're at a Target now. Again, that Red Sun Superman. See him all over the place right now. Probably sitting in a shipping container from China for six months. Now he's hitting the stores finally. That's a great Galvatron. I, I picked that up a while ago, but it, it's it's just an amazing Galvatron. Probably the best Galvatron figure ever uh, to come out. Exciting for G.I. Joe's and Eternals. There we go. More Eternals. And uh, here's this build a figure wave. A little tempted to get that um, saber tooth figure from that wave, but I don't know. Yeah, I want one that's more. Classic Jim Lee style. Just the wrestling section. Nothing too exciting here. A lot of AEW figures. It's a couple new ones there. But nothing that I needed. Masters of the Universe. If you guys watched uh, the new uh, Revelations, He-Man. Loved it. 
Boba Fett backpacks. I thought that was kind of cool looking. We're in the next section. I'm not into Funko Pops, but that T-Rex is pretty cool from Jurassic World. And do we got anything here? Let's see. Nothing for me. Here's another target, and this uh, Doctor Strange. I actually need him. That Spider Man. I contemplated getting into that black suit Spider Man, but I actually didn't. But the Doctor Strange I picked up. All right, guys. So, welcome to the pickups portion of this video of this week's toy hunt. Now, a lot of this stuff was actually just stuff that came in the mail was pre-order. So not a lot of this was actually obtained in stores. A few things were, but uh, a lot of it was just stuff that came um, in the mail this week. So I'm definitely obviously going to include it in this week's uh, pickups. So let's get started. Now, the first thing which came uh, this week, and this is just awesome. Um, I'm getting a, a little bit addicted to these uh, figures. They're uh, pretty pricey, but I might need to get more of them. And it is from Storm Collectibles uh, Evil Ryu. And I have them out of the box. I have them actually posed with uh, the uh, regular Ryu. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know how I have them posed. But here's how he looks. I mean, he just looks fantastic. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Oleg's Collecting. So, that came in the mail. Now, a couple of Star Wars items came in the mail. A couple uh, vintage collection uh, figures. And these came from Hasbro Pulse. So the first one is the off-world uh, Jawa. And this one is the one that I was really excited to get. I've never seen him in a store. The Jawa I, I saw plenty of times in the store, but I just never grabbed him because I knew I had him pre-ordered somewhere. Uh, this one, though, I've never seen in a store, and I'm glad to finally get it. It's our Trooper. Echo. So now I have all three of the 501st uh, Legion figures separately, and I also have the uh, three pack, which was, I forget where it was an exclusive from, but it might have been Amazon. I don't recall. It was maybe about a year ago, but uh, now I have them all individually on cards as well, which is pretty cool. Let's see, next, this I got on Amazon. This, I want to say, was a Cyber Monday deal. It arrived, at, like, I ordered it on Monday, and I think it arrived either Tuesday or Wednesday. It was pretty quick. It's this uh, Wolverine Marvel Legends set. And that Omega Red in there looks awesome. I, I don't think I'm going to be popping this open. I think this just looks like a, just, it's an awesome display piece. But I do need to hunt down a uh, loose Omega Red. This I did find in the store. This I found actually at uh, Target. And it was on camera. And it is uh, Doctor Strange from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. I'll put this in my Marvel Legends uh, detolf. This I got at Heroes Hideout, which I've never really been able to get good footage of. Um, I don't know the guys that work there really all that well, and there's always a ton of people in there. It's a privately owned store, so I never really feel comfortable getting footage in there. But uh, this I got for just an incredible deal, and I couldn't really pass it up. It was a classic superstars uh, wrestler. It's uh, Shawn Michaels in the LJN style. This was like $15, which is just crazy it's cheap. So, pretty uh, psyched to get that. 
And the last thing that I got in a store, and this I got at uh, Target, and this is awesome. I am i don't know if I'm going to open this up or not. I like the packaging, especially because it's the 100th um, Predator figure. But the figure itself looks so good. Like, I, I don't know. I think it would look awesome out of package. Kind of thinking maybe I need to get maybe a second one. I don't know. Yeah, sorry for the glare there. But this one is really cool. And last, but certainly not least, uh, this came from uh, one of my subscribers, uh, Jason, who's just an awesome dude. Uh, he hit me up on Instagram. Uh, you know, he and I you keep in touch all the time. And he knew I was looking for this. And he hit me up. He's like, hey, do you still need this? And I was like, yeah, absolutely. So, um yeah, I PayPal'd him uh, money over, and he sent it over. It's uh, the uh, Junkyard Dog Chase Edition from uh, the Legends uh, Series 12 line. And he also threw in, thought this was cute, was a uh, Back to the Future uh, lunchbox. <laughs> so, Back to the Future, I've said this a few times, is uh, my favorite movie of all time, so... This is a nice little touch, which I uh, appreciate. Comes with uh, some, a uh, Back to the Future pin set here. So, so yeah. So that is it, guys, for uh, this week's pickups. Nothing uh, too crazy, but uh, it was a pretty good week once again, at least for, uh, quality wise. As you guys saw in the room tour, I really need to slow down. Like I'm, I'm basically out of room. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And this is like I'm not moving again. This is my forever house. And my wife is not gonna let me expand out of the basement with all my stuff. So. Uh, I'm going to have some hard choices to make, <laughs> either sell some stuff or put some stuff in storage. I, I don't know, uh, but uh, right now I'm making it work, but uh, probably not for that much longer. So I really do need to uh, slow down a bit, but the hunts are going to keep on coming. Uh, even if I don't buy anything, I'm going to be out there at least hunting and looking for stuff is just even to show you guys. So please be sure again to uh, comment on the video. Let me know what you guys have been finding with these uh, stock shelves right now. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell if you haven't. I always forget to say that, but uh, be sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as my videos uh, drop. So um, I'm going to start doing... Um, Basically, top 10 lists for uh, 2021 starting this week. I'm going to drop those uh, midweek. Uh, this week is going to be my top 10 retail uh, figures that came out this year, in my opinion. Um, and my only rule for them are, is for this particular list is that it was retail. Uh, the figures were under $50, and it has to be in my collection. That's it. So if it's a top 10 figure, if if I think it's a top 10 figure, I was going to buy it. So, But uh, yeah, that's going to be this week, and um, I'm going to do a list all throughout uh, the next few weeks along those lines. So anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.